Iceland is a singular location with the intersection of divergent continents, a mantle plume, the polar circle, and a place where you can witness everything from puffins to whales. Thanks to the Smithsonian and Ponant experience, Magnet Geological shares this journey, revealing the evolution of an island, a rift, a soil, a culture, agriculture, and geothermal power. The Mid-Atlantic Rift runs directly through the island, pulling it apart at about 2.5 centimeters per year, roughly an inch a year. Beneath it lies a mantle plume, or hot spot. The additional heat continues to lift the spreading ridge above sea level, creating a rare opportunity to walk across what is, essentially, the ocean floor. The oldest parts of Iceland are around 16 to 20 million years old. Most of the island is volcanic, but some marine sediments, like turbidites, also appear on geological maps. During the Ice Age, thick glaciers covered the land, carving valleys and trapping volcanoes beneath them. When lava met ice, it created flat-topped volcanoes and landforms found almost nowhere else on Earth. By the time Viking settlers arrived in 874, most of the island's bulk had already been formed. They found a landscape shaped by fire and ice, but rich with forests and scattered pockets of mature, fertile volcanic soil. Birch woodlands covered much of the lowlands, and centuries of weathering had built deep, productive soils in favorable areas. After settlement, small-scale stock farming and wood gathering were concentrated in flat lowland areas. While some vegetation was lost, much of the island's terrain continued its natural evolution. With volcanism, soil formation, and ecological succession still underway. On the newest lava fields, the cycle begins with lichens, partnerships of fungus and algae, that cling to bare basalt and begin the weathering process. Mosses follow, holding water, trapping dust, and forming the first threads of soil. Over time, this process forms clay-rich basaltic soils, smectite, alophane, and kaolinite. These volcanic soils support dense grasslands, shrubs, and pockets of woodlands. Rivers carry the weathered volcanic material to the coast, forming some striking beach deposits. Since 1874, after a thousand years of settlement, major eruptions at Askia, Surtsey, Krafla, and Fagardalsfjell have added new land and reshaped the coasts. Reminders that this island is still alive. Underground, the same heat that powers the volcanoes also drives one of Iceland's greatest resources, geothermal energy. Hot water from deep, permeable, 300 Celsius horizons warms homes, powers turbines, and fuels a vision of sustainability built on geology.